But first tonight, talks will continue for a transgender bathroom and locker room policy in Hanover County after dozens of people packed tonight's school board meeting to voice their concerns. And those there this evening also voicing frustration following a controversial logo on a t-shirt. Don Hood is live at the school division's district office tonight to break down this jam-packed meeting and John certainly a lot to unpack here. Yeah, hey, Makia and Simone, you know, this evening we heard from many community members who said they'd like to see an open investigation into how those controversial t-shirts were made. We also heard from both sides of the issue of the, around the policy involving the transgender bathroom and uh, uh, locker room policy, so much so that the school board actually pushed a vote date back. Another packed school board meeting in Hanover. The public commenting period beginning with the board's chair saying because of how many speakers signed up that another opportunity will be given next week to discuss the transgender bathroom and locker room policy. Uh, we are announcing that we're going to have a public comment period, an additional public comment period regarding the um, uh, restroom and locker room uh, policy on August the 16th. But despite the additional meeting, parents and families did not hold back on how they felt about it. We're struggling to find bus drivers, teachers, and just staff the damn school. And you want to add a process that's going to take three months or more? They don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. You're oppressing the already oppressed. According to the policy presented tonight, students would have to submit documents, including a statement that specifies their gender identity a signed statement from their doctor or therapist, and their disciplinary or criminal records. The board would then review all of that information on a case-by-case -case basis and have the final say on approving or declining the request, something other community members felt is a good process. Regarding the first read of the new bathroom and locker room policy, the majority of Hanover County supports parental rights and safe bathrooms for all students and this policy does both of those things. Those at Tuesday night's meeting also asking the school division to take a deeper dive into a controversial shirt logo printed off from a teacher and staff conference that some last week believed represented a Nazi symbol. I would like to ask the school board to open an investigation into who designed the symbol, who approved the use of the symbol, and who were responsible for printing it on the shirts. Now, the school board did not comment any further on an open investigation for those controversial t-shirts, but they did say at their August 30th meeting there will be a vote on this transgender bathroom and locker room policy. That's the latest here in Hanover. Live and on your side, John Hood, NBC 12 News. All right.